Okay. All righty. Go back some more. You'll see me. Good. So at the front of the chair, right? Pressing down the ball in the heel of your feet. And really work on sitting up on those sitting bones. Rock from side to side, back and forth. But I was just telling the lady earlier, really work on sitting up on your pelvic bone. That's the pelvic, when I say the sitting bones, this the pelvic structure. And sit right up on it because that's grounding yourself into the seat. Really press your feet down, the ball, especially the near the big toe <clears throat> and the second toe. The ball of your foot, just like the palm of your hand and the heel of your foot. So you're grounding the lower torso and then you're pulling up the upper torso. Pull the ribs up, don't stick them out. Pull them in and up so that your chest lifts. So you lift it here, your chest is lifted. Then put your hands down to the side. This is called, you know, sitting up straight and like a mountain, Tanasana, you know, Sanskrit name. But you're just pressing down into the seat and pressing down into the floor with your feet. And then you're pulling the upper torso up. Lift that chest, that breastbone, sternum. Pull the shoulder blades together. Now do not lift the chin. That's called cocking the head. And don't drop it down either. Just push it in and tilt just a little bit where you feel the stretch in the upper back, that cervical area. In the middle of the back, the shoulder blades are together. It's a thoracic. And that helps you to puff this chest up and open up your clavicle, your collarbone. Open them up, open them up. Shoulders back and down. So you feel yourself pulling the upper torso away from the lower torso. This is what you're doing in the vertebrae. This is what you're doing, pushing down in the seat of the pelvic structure and pulling the upper torso up and lift it from the crown of your head, center of your head, pulling up, lengthening your neckline, pressing, using your fingertips, going down and pressing. So you're working on body alignment, being strong like a mountain. And then let's, let's get some of the tension off of those shoulders. Let's inhale those shoulders up to our ears and then exhale them down. Just let it go, blow the air out, but don't move the skeleton. Keep the skeleton up. See, I'm just moving my upper extremities, just my arms, inhale them up. And exhale them down. And inhale them up. And exhale them down. One more time. And inhale them up. And then exhale them down. Good, good, good. Very, very important. Okay, let's reach our legs out. Those are, this is our upper extremity. Now our legs are from the hip socket, from that ball in the socket. Let's just stay pulled up in the upper torso and let's just work those joints. Same reason, get the circulation going. Any little stiffness that we have in any of these joints, in our ankles, in our knees. You know, bend the knee, extend the knee. Just stretch, work the hip sockets. Let's get moving. If you've been sitting too long, I can't say it enough to you. Please try to do this. Just do this. We don't take nothing to it. Just bring the legs out. They don't have to be straight. Just bring them out a little bit and then just work those joints. And yes. try to stay pulled up. Good. Slide the foot in and pull up. Lower back, lower abdominal muscles. Pull back up straight. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna tilt our head from side to side, bring the hands back down. This is our inhale when we come center. 
Then exhale, tilt your, tilt your head, right shoulder. Here's my right ear, body alignment. Here's my hip bone. And then I'm stretching my left hand out on the angle so I can feel this pull here. Now inhale, back up center. Stretch both arms down. Exhale, tilt. Just a little. And stretch the right hand. And the left hand goes down. So you're stretching both, both arms, right? Inhale, up. Exhale, tilt. Stretch. And inhale, up. Exhale. And inhale, up. Good, good, good. All this is just to open up your breath so you really need to work on our respiratory system, especially at this time. Take that goal post position and pull those shoulder blades together as you inhale. And then exhale, open up the shoulder blades and bring the hands in. Exhale, pull up that diaphragm. Now just one more time. Inhale, open up, open up. Exhale, squeeze in everything. Squeeze it in, contract. Okay, now add your head, lift that chin up, inhale. And then exhale, bring your chin in your chest. And pull that diaphragm in, pull that navel in. Inhale. Exhale, pull that pubic bone up into the navel. Like you're trying to get that navel to the spine. Good, and relax the hands back down. This area here is just like we do bicep curls. You're, when you bend like this, that's contracting. So the same thing. I want you to really concentrate on that. That's my focus this year. It's really tuck that pelvic under. You're not sitting on it now. X, when you exhale, pull the pubic bone up in the navel, contract, squeeze in. Work below the navel. Then inhale, sit up on the sitting bone and pull the upper torso up. Blow up like that balloon. Exhale. Squeeze together so that you're working those Kegel muscles, right? Part of the gluteus maximus. And then all the anus muscles. Pulling the pubic bone up in the navel. Work in that center. Inhale, pull up straight. One more time. Exhale, tuck under. Okay. Now what we want to do is put those two together. That's the lower torso, right? And this is the upper torso when we lift. And the only thing we're going to do is add that stretch of the neckline. So here we are going to work on cat and cow. So we're gonna just lift up, really arch, shoulder blades together, stretching that neckline. The next hand, we're gonna to tuck the pelvic, we're gonna bring the chin in the chest. Really pull the pubic bone up into the navel. Squeeze together. Inhale, press your feet down, fall and heel, and pull that upper torso out of the lower torso, stretch that neckline. Chin in the chest, exhale and tuck under. Tuck the buttocks under. Now inhale back up straight. Okay? Now all that kind of energy, you're going to really understand that muscles, these are muscles, move bones. So we're not lifting our leg from the bone, the skeleton. We'll lift our legs by lifting these muscles. We'll use our hands and our arms, lift up, palms facing front. Pull the chest up, here's our inhale. Now exhale, tuck that buttocks under, flex the foot, and lift that leg up from the buttocks, gluteus maximus, rectus abdominal muscles. Inhale. Exhale, tuck under. Pull the pubic bone up into the navel. 
work your core right here, not the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Like doing a little crunch. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your toes to you, reach the heel out. Good, leave the hands down and pull the back back up straight. Good. So you really work in that area. Feel that. Okay, let's do our twist. Left hand across, right hand behind us. Here we go again. Keep the chin in line with that breastbone, that sternum. And inhale the vertebrae up. Start from that lower back. Start to pull them shoulder blades together. Drop them shoulders down. And then exhale, pubic bone up in the navel. Diaphragm pulled up. And that's your twist. Now stay right there and inhale, turn your head to the left and exhale when you get there and then let your eyes go around to your back. Don't move your head no more, don't crank your neck, but use your eyes. Just work on those eyes, really stretching them. Okay, then inhale, turn your head to the right. And exhale when you get there and then look behind yourself. Then inhale, turn your head to the center of your body, right there at your breastbone. And then take your upper torso and bring it back around to the front. And exhale and change. Left hand back. Inhale up. Vertebrae, breathe. Chest lifted. Exhale. Pubic bone up in the navel. Twist. Then inhale, turn your head to the right shoulder, that shoulder back, and then exhale when you get there and just keep on moving your eyes like you're trying to look over your shoulder. Then inhale, turn your head to the left shoulder. Exhale, look behind yourself. Inhale, turn your head to the center of your body and bring your upper torso back to the front. And exhale. Now let's add it with the arms. Here we go. Inhale those arms up. And then exhale. Give yourself that twist and bring your arms down. Inhale up. Come back to the front. Exhale, twist. Pull the pubic bone up in the neck. And just let your arms float down. Remember that they're separate. This is what we're working right here. Inhale back up and exhale them down. Let's bring them all the way down. And now let's just give ourselves some mental at the same time. Let's exercise our mind as we exercise the shoulders. Bring your right shoulder up, left shoulder up, right shoulder down, left shoulder down, left shoulder up, right shoulder. Left shoulder down, right shoulder down. So we have right, left, right, left. Then left, right, left, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Right, left, three, four, and five, six, left, right. If you had trouble with that, practice it. Practice it, and once you feel that you've got it, you should do it faster, you know. I will take time with it now. I want you to take time with, you know, being able to speed it up. Because that's just one of the things you're doing for your mind, you're exercising your mind at the same time. Then we're gonna do a little more circulation, and we're gonna breathe. So we're gonna inhale up, two, three, and then on four, we're going to exhale on four only. Open our mouth. Ha! It's called a happy breath. And pull in. So we have inhaling through the nostril. Ha! Ha! Pull it in. Ha! So we're really trying to blow up this balloon. Taking those three counts and blow it up as big as we can. And then on four, ha, letting all of the air out of it. 
pulling in, pulling in, pulling the pubic bone up into the navel, contracting, pulling, scooping up. Okay. Now, mentally, got to keep all these in mind. Let's do the arms. So, so now you're working your memory. Your arms are going to go forward, side, up, and then they're going to swing back. Swing. Don't carry them. Let them go and recover. That's what's going to be important because you're going to keep the count going. So you got one, two, three, four, forward, side, up, swing back, and forward, side, swing back, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? Now you're going to put all that together with the breath and with the movement. Ready? Here we go. And. Ha! 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 Okay, and relax and just do normal breathing. Very good exercise to energize you. You know, if you got a few more little chores you want to do tonight, <laughs> after class, you'll be able to do them. But you don't energize yourself. As long as you take that, not hot, not hot, cool shower, you'll sleep well. Okay? Let's add our leg, flex this right foot out, bring your toes to you, reach your heel, so that we stretch the back of our thighs, our hamstrings, and the big old gastrocnemius muscle. Press this foot down because this is a standing leg. So here's where we are in our flat back and we're going to hinge. What we're going to do is move from that waistline. Hinge forward, not down. Don't round. Shoulders stay back, chest stays up. I'm going to bring my arms back so I can open this up and keep this open. Then I'm going to inhale and pull back up straight. Exhale. Arms are separate. Inhale. Keep a flat back, don't round. Don't move your head. Inhale and exhale. Leave your hands down there and pull back up. Just hinging. That's a flat back. Just like a hinge on the door. You know, the door doesn't round or anything. It just works from the hinge. So change, take the other one, pull up. Ready, exhale. Ready, reach those arms up, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, three arms down, and inhale up and slide that foot in. Use your muscles, slide it in, pull up these quads, these front thigh muscles, real, real important, because they protect our knees. By them being strong, we don't throw all the weight down in that little bitty knee, but tell them. Recap, okay? Now let's stay pulled, let's stay pulled up. And, and then here we're going to go, lifting that leg up and lift two, lift your center up, four, five, six, flex the foot, seven, eight, and down. I want you to work on this, stay pulled up, ready? And one, two, press this one down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. All right, let's make the little circles. Ready, lift and flex the foot. And one, two, three, four, and reverse it. Just warming up those sockets. Four and down. Change and lift, flex, and one, two, moving from your hip socket, ball in socket. Four and reverse. Two, three, four, and down. Good. All right, let's squeeze those inner thighs together, a little Charleston move, and then exhale and open. But the upper torso is pulling up, remember that. And then that pelvic bowl is pulling in, all those muscles, gluteus maximus, all these muscle, kegel muscles. Work them, keep them strong. And inhale, squeeze. Exhale, just let the legs open, right? The lower extremities. But you're sitting up on that sitting bone and you're pulled up on it. You're sitting up on it. 
And one more time, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, open. Pull the pubic bone up in the navel. And then come back parallel. And let's flex that foot and lift it and then open it out to the side. Bring it back, keep the upper torso facing front. And lift and side, just that hip socket. One more time and lift and side. Lift it back up, in, and one more time. Don't let this one go out. Keep the weight on the inner heel and back in. Great. Hold on to your chair. Be able to lift. You should be sitting up enough at the front of your chair that you can lift the legs in the back of the chair. These arms are straight. They're helping me open up my chest. Want, don't want that clock to lapse chest. You can't breathe good like that. You've got to open this up so your lungs can get plenty of room to grab that oxygen. So this is our inhale, pushing my chest forward. My exhale is going to be to lift my chest up and my ribs up and arch, stretch my chin, not my shoulders, lift my chest up, neckline. Then I'm gonna let go and lift the back of my neck up and the crown of my head up, come back into the flat line and then just exhale, pull it in. Pull on again, inhale, pull away from the chair, arm straight, now lift up, and arch, exhale, let go, inhale up straight, and exhale, good, and relax. This is what you want to keep. This is what keeps you breathing good, getting good oxygen. It's this. <laughs> then you're able to breathe better through your nostrils. Okay, we're going to work today on that bumblebee breath. All of this is just to energize you and keep you breathing good. So we're going to inhale, expand like the balloon. And then when we exhale, we're going to close off our ears and just press. And we're going to close our eyes and we're going to close our mouth and hum. And we're just going to do four counts. When you practice by yourself, try to do six counts. Go up to eight counts, you know. But right now we just do four flats. Ready? Take a deep breath. Inhale. Inhale. Now you want to exercise your eyes also and then the nerves in your tongue. Make sure your tongue is at the roof of your mouth at that pellet when your mouth is closed and you're humming. Then when you're also closing your eyes and you're humming, let your eyes roll up either to your third eye in the middle or let them roll up all the way up to your crown. Try to roll your eyes up. So you're exercising your eyes at the same time. Let's do two more, ready? Inhale. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Mm -hmm. And bring the hands down. And just breathe normal breathing, inhaling, and then exhale. Let's take that gold pulse position again. Open up our chest, inhaling. Then bring the right hand down and the left hand behind our skull and stretch over that lateral bend. Pull the elbows back, keep that chest open. And inhale, and exhale, make sure the head is moving over to the left. Left ear in line with the left shoulder. Shoulder going down. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale and bring your arms down. Bring your arms all the way down. Just give them a little circle. 
Bring them up and forward and down and back. Up and forward and down and back. Let's reverse them. Let's bring them up and back and down and forward. Up and back and down forward. One more. Up and back and down and forward. Right, just exercise in the masa. And just try. We're <clears throat> trying to always do things with your breath. Being conscious, staying conscious that you're breathing anyway. So learn how to be in control of your breath. That's what I'm making an issue of. You're controlling your breath. You bring your arms out to the side just a little bit. So you don't want you raising your shoulders. I want you stretching your fingertips. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. Reach them. And exhale. Understanding that they are connected to this torso. Yeah. So this stays pulled up. Skeleton stays pulled up. And the arms move separate. And you're trying to stretch those arms. Okay? Because what holds the arms up Here's your arms. Now take the forearm and turn it over. Use these triceps. That's what holds the arms up. These latissimus dorsi pecs. These are all the muscles holding the arms up the back. Trapezius. Remember, muscles move bones. One more time. Inhale, lift those muscles. And exhale. Yeah. Good. Relax the hands here. One more time. Pull up. Feel that lift. Okay. Bring the hands forward just loose. Keep them soft. Bring them out to the side again. Now turn that right palm over and reach the waistline to the right. Then bring the palm down. Turn the left one over and reach to the left. Don't see so straight across. You're separating the upper torso from the lower torso. And remembering what's holding the arms up. Chest is lifted. Triceps are lifted. Last one. Reach over there. And come back center and relax the arms down. Good. Give them a little shake out. Up and down. Roll them up. You know. Get used to using this area. And not so much into using the shoulders too. Okay, good, good, good. All right, we're going to really work on pulling up. I'm going to go into all of the movements. This is called vinyasa. Vinyasa is when you move from one movement to the other. Now, I've taken all these movements and we're going to try to put them together into what is called the sun salutation. This is one of these things people do early in the morning, but you can do also before you go to bed at night. Okay. So what it is, here we go. We're going to start with the first part. Here we are. We inhale up. Now remember that arch that we did. Lift that chest, lift that chin, and exhale. Arch back. That's when we was pulling away from the chair. Now inhale up, the back of that neck, remember. Back up into a straight line. Now hinge forward. That's the hinge without moving the head, just from the waistline. And now fold. Drop your chin and your chest round. Now, inhale the head up, stretch the neckline, and arch forward, chest up. Now fold again. Now just sweep and inhale up. And then bring the hands together, exhale. Let's just take that much. Ready? Inhale up. Exhale back, stretch your chin. Inhale up straight. Hinge forward, exhale, and then fold. All right, chin, chest, round. Inhale, arch up, and then fold again. Ready, get that sweep. Inhale up, and bring your hands together, and exhale. Coming to your center. Last time. Inhale up, arch back. Come up straight, hinge forward and fold, arch up, 
drop back down, fold. Ready, make that sweet, inhale up, and bring your hands together. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you, Darlene. Good plan. Thank you. So glad to see you. Thanks, Darlene. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Darlene. <laughs>